In this video, I would like to review the TS Optics Maxfield 0.95 comma corrector. So I've been using this comma corrector over the past few years for my astrophotography, and in this video, I would like to share my experience with you. So if you're planning to buy this comma corrector for your astrophotography setup, definitely make sure to watch this entire video because after watching that video, you will know everything you need to know. In the beginning of this video, I would like to introduce this comma corrector to you, which means I would like to talk about a few basic details about that comma corrector you need to know and in that I would like to include um, talking about the advantages and disadvantages of using that comma corrector for an astrophotography and after that I would like to show you a few sample images I was able to capture with that comma corrector because um, we will take a closer look how good this comma corrector is in removing comma in your final results and after that I would like to give you my final opinion about that comma corrector but now let's get started. First of all, I'd like to mention that this video is not sponsored and not being paid for it. Our product shown in this video was purchased by myself. But now I'd like to start by introducing this comma corrector to you. So now a few basic facts about that comma corrector. So first of all, there might be the question, is this comma corrector suitable for my astrophotography setup? And you can use that comma corrector in combination with, tele with Newton telescopes with a focal ratio between f6 and f4, which is definitely great because a lot of beginner Newtonian telescopes and professional uh, Newtonian telescopes are in that range, which means that you can attach that comma corrector to a lot of different telescopes. And if your telescope has a two inch focuser, that will definitely uh, fit to your telescope. Furthermore, um, this uh, comma corrector in detail has a length of 72 millimeters, which is great too. So a few other uh, comma correctors are a bit longer and they and they are a bit longer than uh, your focuser. And then when looking in the telescope, you can see that the comma corrector, but that one is only in your uh, focuser, which is definitely great when capturing objects in deep sky astrophotography. Um, furthermore, this comma corrector has a working distance of 55 millimeters, which is great because you can get into focus with DSLR cameras, mirrorless cameras, and for sure dedicated astronomy cameras. So those cool cameras. So that's definitely a big advantage of using that comma corrector for astrophotography. Furthermore, this um, comma corrector is not that not, it's not that heavy, so only 230 grams, which is not that much, which is perfect for astrophotography because a few beginning telescopes, uh, the focuser is not built to uh, it's not built for attaching that heavy equipment, including an off-axis guider and comma corrector and your camera. So that one is not that heavy, which is great because you can attach that to your focuser definitely. Um, furthermore, um, something that is amazing about that comma corrector is that this comma corrector is not only suitable for APC size sensors, but also for full frame sensors, which is amazing because after when, when upgrading your camera from APS-C to full frame, you do not have to buy a new comma corrector and in general I really like that one. I've talked to a few astrophotographers who are using that comma corrector in combination with a full frame sensor and they said that this comma corrector works well and it's good in removing comma in your final results. But if you have problems with uh, the edges, so they said that the edges are a bit darker but that should not be a big problem because we, we can remove that in post-processing. But I'm using that comma corrector in combination with an APS-C sensor and this comma corrector is doing a great job. It's removing comma so good. And furthermore, this comma corrector reduces um, the focal length by the factor of 0 0.95. So that's definitely not that much, that much of difference, but still worth to mention that. Because for me in astrophotography, it's very important to use a telescope that's fast. So I'm using telescope of f5, which is not that bad, but with, with that comma corrector, it's a bit more faster. So you can, can change the focal, the focal length of that of my telescope. So by reducing the focal length of your telescope, um, the focal ratio will, will change, so your telescope will be a bit faster. So the difference is not that big, as I mentioned, so only 0 0.95, but still I would like to mention that because that's definitely a great feature I will like about that comma corrector. Now a few, now a summary of the adventures and disadvantages, and after that I would like to go over to um, the images I've captured with that comma corrector. So um, the advantage is definitely that this comma corrector is not that heavy. You can attach it to a lot of comma correctors and it's fantastic in removing comma in your final results. And furthermore, you can remove it, you can use it in combination with a full frame sensor as well. Um, so far, I have not found any Disadvantages, disadvantages of using that comma corrector and I've been using that comma corrector over the past three years I think so definitely this comma corrector is amazing 
Now we'd like to go over to the images I've captured with a comma corrector. First of all, I'd like to start with an image I've captured without a comma corrector to show you the difference this comma corrector makes in astrophotography. photography. So here we go. So this is an image of the Andromeda Galaxy. So I've captured that image quite a few years ago and it was one of my first images I've captured. And we're looking at the corners, you can see those stars. They are terrible, actually. So you can see that those stars are not round. You can see that in each of those corners. And um, so you can see that those stars are not round and they look like, uh, they look a bit like comets. And that is called coma. So this image is already a cropped image, which shows that the stars are even and near the center, not that good. And that's why I've decided to buy a comma corrector for my deep sky astrophotography setup. Um, yeah, that's an um, image without a comma corrector, but now I'd like to go over to an image that was captured with a comma corrector, which is the Orion Nebula. So in that case, I used the exact same telescope, the exact same camera, the exact same mount. So the equipment is actually the same. The only thing that I changed is the comma corrector. When zooming a bit, you can see that the stars are much better here. So uh, for example, um, this star here, you can see, so it's nearly in the, uh, in, the in the corner and you can see that the spikes are very really symmetric and the star is very really round. So perfect actually, but when zooming a bit more in the outermost regions of that image, you can see that the stars here are perfectly round. So as you can see, the coma corrector is doing a fantastic job in removing coma in your final results. And a few coma correctors do have um, a problem with removing coma in all edges, but that coma corrector reduces and removes uh, the coma in all edges, which is something I really like about that one. For example, if you look at the corners here, you can see that the stars are perfectly round here and on the other side as well. So here the stars are not that perfectly round, but that's more to the tracking. So in that case, it was quite windy, which is why I had a few problems with the auto guiding system. But uh, I'd like to show you another image of a double star cluster in which I had no problems with guiding and tracking in general. And there are a lot of stars in a field of view which should be perfect in order to analyze how good this coma corrector performs in removing coma in your final results. So in this case, once again, the stars are perfectly round. So here the stars are symmetric, perfectly round, and we zoom in, we zoom here in, in the outer regions, the stars are perfectly round. So in that case, this image is not a crop. So in the beginning, the image of the Andromeda Galaxy, it was already a crop, a cropped image, and still there was a lot of coma. But in that case, I used the entire field of view. And even here, the stars are perfectly round in the outer regions of that image. And you can see that in all edges of that image. So here as well, perfectly shaped stars, and here as well. So in that case, the tracking was perfect and the coma corrector was doing such a great job. And as you can see, perfectly. And so yeah, so I'm definitely very, very happy with that coma corrector in general. So as you can see, and as you can hear, I'm very happy with that coma corrector and I would definitely recommend this coma corrector to, to you. And as you can see, it performs great in all edges. As I mentioned, some comma characters do not do so. So they only, they're very good in correcting the image in one edge, for example, but that one is correcting the entire field of view perfectly. So you can see that this comma character is doing a fantastic job. And now to my final, final conclusion. Um, so I really like about that comma character that it can be used in combination with a lot of telescopes. So between F4 and F6, which is in focal ratio, a lot of telescopes have. So even when upgrading a telescope in the near future, you can use that comma corrector, even uh, you can still use that comma corrector because a lot of telescopes are on that range definitely. Furthermore, as I mentioned in the beginning, when upgrading your camera from APS-C sensor to a full frame sensor, which is something I might do in the future, um, you can still use that comma corrector because, because it performs good when using a full frame sensor too. Furthermore, it's not that heavy, which is great for mounts that are not that heavy. So there are a few mounts that are such as the EQ. I mean, in general, there are a few mounts that are, that cannot track that uh, heavy telescopes. And when your comma corrector is not that heavy, that's definitely good for your entire astrophotography setup and especially for your focuser as well. You have to keep in mind that this comma corrector is not that expensive. So there are a few other comma correctors that are much more expensive for sure, but still that comma corrector performs so great in astrophotography and there's an huge difference when it comes to the, the image of the Andromeda galaxy and that image in general. So this comma corrector in general definitely helped me to improve my astrophotography and to bring it to the next level. 
and after not touching that comma corrector, my images are definitely so much better. So I definitely recommend that comma corrector. That's in general my review about that comma corrector. I'm very happy and I definitely would recommend it. If this, if you have any further questions on that comma corrector, so on attaching, on how to attach that comma corrector, for example, definitely feel free to ask me down below in the comments. So I would like to, and then we'll answer those questions down below in the comments to you, and perhaps I will create another video about that comma corrector in which I would like to answer those questions you have. And in general, if this review was helpful and interesting to you, I would really, really appreciate a like and a subscription. Otherwise, thank you so, so much for watching, and until next time. Clear skies, Felix.